Thursday, March 12, 2020, will go down as a day that sports went dark. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you today to talk about really what happened yesterday. We, we have most of the details, most everything's figured out, but there's still a lot of things that aren't figured out. So uh, we're going to talk about that you know, before we get going, since there really aren't going to be sports played for the next month, two months possibly. Uh, subscribe to the channel, that way we can at least talk baseball, do something that's related to the sports we love and, and keep things active. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing, but you know what? We'll figure something out. So guys, yesterday, unless you were living under a rock with no electricity, no internet, nothing, uh, sports, well, the world took a hit yesterday. Uh, it started off with a, a lot of schools uh, saying they were going to stop playing spring sports until the end of the month. And um, some schools said they were just going to stop it altogether. Some schools said they were going to play without fans. And you know what? Those things, you know, short-term uh, things that people could look at, see an end date, and okay, you know, maybe a little frustration, but an understanding and not not that much um, of a panic type of, of mentality. Then things changed. NCAA put out a statement, and I saw the statement and initially saw it as March Madness was being canceled, and I was like, oh, I thought they were just going to go to no fans in, in the stands. And so I was like, okay, they canceled it. That's horrible. I, I don't like it. Um, but at the same time, I understood that. I, I was like, okay. But then I continued reading the statement a little further and realized that it said there would be no spring sport championships. Um, so that's the College World Series, the Women's College World Series that happened in June. They were shutting down that completely. Now, that doesn't mean that teams can't play. Um, they just There's no championship tournament. Uh, so I don't know what all the schools are thinking. You know, if, it, if some of the schools have said they're not going to play until the until like April 1st, April 10th, if they're going to decide to still resume their season and play, or if they're just going to shut it down as well. So I'm guessing most everybody will shut down uh, if they haven't officially announced that. Um, you know, I don't know what they're doing. I'm not in charge of those areas. Uh, it's for me as a sports fan, it hurts. Now I understand that this is to help prevent the spread of the virus um, wasn't necessarily that we thought the players were at risk. It's that we were, that their thinking was they didn't want to have group gatherings that spread the virus to individuals who are at risk. And I understand that. I get that. Whether you agree or don't agree, that's not what this is about. This is about the fact that it happened. Uh, this is where we now sit as a community, as a fandom. Um, but this is going to have huge implications to a lot of people. Um, to the players, first of all, you're looking, you know, all the players. Now, it sounds like spring sports athletes will get a, an additional year of eligibility back. Th this year will not count, which is good. I, I like that. That's something that should happen. Um, but it's going to cause a fiasco when it comes to teams next year because now you have the freshman through senior classes that are already on the teams, and you're going to have incoming freshmen. So you're going to have five classes worth of athletes on the teams. You're going to have the MLB draft is going to be completely different this year because scouts aren't on the road right now watching games. It's going to be based entirely on information they already have. So there's not going to be a breakout player this year. Uh, I think it's very possible that a lot of seniors that get drafted um, that will actually have another year of eligibility next year will choose to go professional instead. You know, that's this was supposed to be their last year. So I think if they get drafted, they're going to not return to school, um, even though they have the opportunity. It's, I don't know, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be crazy. Uh, but this also affects people who aren't the athletes on the field. Uh, all the workers who would be at the College World Series, that's a lot of money that's being lost out for people who depend on that each year. Uh, you know, in the NBA, Mark Cuban, one of his very first thoughts when he was notified of the NBA closing was taking care of the workers at the arenas, which if you guys don't know, I love Mark Cuban. I would give anything for him to be a 
owner of a Major League Baseball team. Uh, honestly would. Would love to have him as an owner in Major League Baseball. Even though he's brash and, and outspoken, he seems to be a down-to-earth guy. And from everything I've heard, uh, he, he replies to emails. Not as much anymore because he's more famous, more popular. But there was a time where he would respond to just anyone's emails and, and have a discussion with them. And so, you know, I, I think that's great. I think it's things like that they're that are awesome. But, you know, I think the other end, you think of like sports writers um, in newspaper departments. You know, I was talking to some local writers yesterday at the last college game that we might be covering for the year. And they're going to have to sit down as a group and brainstorm ideas of what to even have as content for their newspaper for the next who knows how many weeks maybe even months they have they have nothing right now all they have is sports are closing down here's the impact and now what so that's a big thing sports talk radio is going to be hit i mean let's be honest if there's nothing to talk about what are you going to do Uh, people like me are going to be hit hard one i don't have a lot of stuff to talk about but I was basing a lot of my income for not any know-it-all off of photos taken at games. I, I had a full calendar. Literally, every weekend I had at least two, three games that I was planning on being, on, being at through pretty much August. Um, and now I don't have anything, maybe until June. And that's going to be a big hit for me and my goal of making not any know-it-all a really viable, you know, source of income for my family. You know, I wasn't looking at making 50,000 a year. I was just hoping to make enough money to be able to help pay for our trips and cover my costs of not eating know-it-all and things like that. And now I don't know, it's gonna be hit hard. So there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people being affected and it stinks. And you know, and here I am, you know, I, was, I woke up this morning hoping that this was just a bad dream. And then I realized, you know, coronavirus is still going on. It's Friday the 13th. Uh, someone said it was a full moon today. And in my hometown, Longview, Washington, it's snowing. And if you guys don't know, if you even mention snow in my hometown, people panic and freak out. Even if it's not going to snow. Even if you just say, huh, I heard there might be snow in the forecast. Complete panic. So you add those four things together and it's, I went to the store this morning to get a like dishwasher soap and laundry detergent just because I wanted to have it, you know, could take care of little things like that. And it was crazy. It was crazy going out there. Uh, Walmart actually wasn't that bad. They didn't have any toilet paper. Actually, they had a couple rolls, a couple things left. But Fred Meyer, which is like a higher end place, that place was crazy absolutely crazy um but walmart wasn't that bad but it just i don't know guys it where we go from here i don't know uh i have another video that i'll be recording uh and putting out later on talking about the different topics subjects direction of 980 know it all for the next month two months um hopefully some you know some ideas come up but guys i I just don't know i just don't know what's going on Um, I'll try and talk a lot about maybe what's going on with NCAA and their decisions for the spring athletes. But even that, that's a a limited topic. So um, maybe we can get together and have online chats as baseball fans and just talk ball. I I just don't know what we're going to do. But the main thing is I want everybody to be safe. Wash your hands. I know my family has been taking care of our hands, been washing a lot, really trying to keep everybody from touching their faces as much as possible and just trying to be smart that's what you can do so with that guys it's probably the darkest day in sports you know i uh was you know i remember 9 11 that was the darkest day in the country's history um uh, but this may be the darkest day in sports worldwide because you have everything i mean literally every sport is is shut down for an extended period of time so we'll see how things go and uh you know it is what it is nothing we can do about it so guys i'm josh the 90 know it all once again wash your hands be safe take care of yourselves be nice to people around you they might need help um, if they do help them out so guys talk to you later